Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to create the famous dinosaur game in Chrome using Arduino and OLED display. So let's get into it. So this is the uh, dino game and uh, yeah so let's first upload it to our arduino now send in one okay so the game is started now oops so there you can see the game is over and total score is approx one if you want to play it again, you can press 1 and then enter. Yeah. There you can see it's working fine. Okay, so now let's can get into it and create our own dino game from scratch now let's begin first of all uh, i'll add all the different libraries uh, that will be you know required so uh, there's a separate tutorial uh, on how to actually include uh, adafruit to library so that your oled display works i'll create another video for that right so first of all uh, let's check and set up our Arduino first we'll initialize the serial communication now uh, we need to check if we are able to connect with our display or not so for that I'm simply just copying the code so now we need to clear everything that's already there on the display so for that I'm using display dot clear display once that is done we'll simply go into play now we need to write this play function for initial testing uh, we need to check if we are able to uh, display everything or not right so what all uh, basic thing uh, that will be requiring is first of all the dinosaur itself right so what you can do is uh, basically uh, convert an image to a byte array and then use it to display it over your uh, OLED display, right? I'll make a separate video of how you can actually convert it. So right now, I'll simply paste the already byte array that I had created earlier so this is for our uh, dinosaur that we will be adding note that the size is 25 cross 26 pixels only right similarly uh, uh, we will be adding trees uh, now in order to check everything is working fine or not uh, what we will do is uh, we will add these trees uh, the dinosaur as well as we will create a baseline uh, so that our you know scene is created so for it what we'll do is uh, wait let me write it in a separate function itself okay so in this function uh, the first two arguments are the x y coordinate where you want to uh, uh, like draw your image right so right now i'll draw at 10 comma 29 and uh, the third input is your bitmap so this will be dino one then uh, comes your width and height so that will be 25 comma 26 right and uh, then the color that you want so that will be ssg 1306 underscore white similarly do this for both the trees as well so this is like the y uh, 
coordinate so it will be same basically for both the trees that's why i uh, soon define it in the header right now we also need to display a line so for that we'll add the function draw line again uh, the initial points so i'll start from 0 comma 54 then the end point of the line that is 127 comma 54 uh, same the color uh, now to actually display this properly we'll use display dot display function right? and uh, we'll call this function in the play uh, remember this is just for testing right now now we will set it to the screen address so this is something that is really important uh, you can check so there are two addresses mainly for these type of uh, display one is uh, 3c and 3d so for 128 cross 64 the address 0x 3c works fine okay Now I think it should work. Yeah. Oh, great. So you can see uh, on our display. So our dinosaur is there, the tree are there, and we have a line also present. Okay, great. Now uh, let's define few of the things that we'll be requiring. I'll just copy the whole code and explain it to you. So uh, what we have here is First of all, we have our dinosaur width that is 25 and the height is 26 along with the initial position that we wanted to spawn at, right? So X at 10, Y at 29. Similarly, uh, the baseline that we are creating. So I wanted to create from 0, 54 to 127, 54, right? Along with it, the <coughs> tree one width like the single tree width is 11 cross 23 and for the two trees together it is 22 cross 23 right and this will be the initial spawn position for y and it will remain the same because our tree will not be moving in y direction it will be moving only in x direction right uh, this is the jump pixel so this is like the maximum amount at Till which a uh, dinosaur can jump if you want to increase the jump then you can uh, increase this value now let's start by writing our uh, play function okay so first of all let's remove it things will be running in a loop over here so I'm creating an indefinite for loop in which first I'll add uh, I'll clear all the things that are there in OLED display Uh, right now I'm not adding the serial commands as of now I'll add them later on so first will be to you know move our tree second will be to move our dino in both the cases we need to mention like what will be the x coordinate and also the type of uh, tree uh, it will be and initialize it to 127 that is at the end of the screen for the second uh, tree I wanted to spawn at 195 so this is beyond our screen but uh, by so that there's some you know difference between the two trees and they do not uh, start coming in together right We also need the value of, you know, the Y coordinate of our dinosaur. If our type is zero, 
that is a single tree should spawn else if if it's one then two trees should uh, spawn together like our code will be this so it's the same one uh, it's just that you know the tree one is given and a tree one width and height is given along with the x coordinate and similarly uh, if our type is one right so only things that will change is the uh, bitmap array and width and height now we'll add uh, move dino function so uh, this is quite straightforward it will it is same as uh, the above function that we had written just over here i've given the you know all the defines that we did above so that's it and only the by value is the variable over here right so now both of the functions uh, are ready along with it uh, what we also need to do is uh, add our line the line code is same that we had written above for you know rendering this scene okay only thing remaining is uh, to actually decrease the value of uh, x so for 3x the value should you know keep on decreasing and also uh, since there are two trees that we need to make so just copy paste this function for the second tree as well after each uh, loop what we'll do is we'll uh, decrease the value of tree x and tree one x right and just in case so if the tree x value reaches zero right so we need to spawn it again and also we need to change its type now we'll simply display everything there you can see so trees are coming next what we need to do is implement our jump okay so uh, in it first of all in the for loop itself uh, we need to check if there is any serial data that is coming in we also have to set a flag for you know jumping Yeah, also you can add like uh, another if statement over here. So if in case the jump status is uh, zero, only in that case uh, we'll be changing our uh, jump to one else. Uh, it'll jump also, you know, when it's in the midair, right? Now we'll see if the jump flag is set to one, then uh, we'll have to decrease the y coordinate right why because we want to uh, move it upwards and till when we have to move till then it will keep on decreasing so once it has reached there then we'll change our jump status to 2 now since we have to uh, come down as well right so <coughs> I'll add another condition over here. As you can see, it's uh, just going up. Okay. So I forgot to add equal to over here. That's why it just went up. Right. So now if I press 5, you can see it goes up and comes down properly great so this seems to be working fine now what we need to implement uh, is uh, our collision right so uh, for this case i am considering collision only uh, when the first pixel of the tree is uh, close to the pixels in our dinosaurs 
right only in that case not if it lands over the tree it's just if they initially if they are touching it or not this is something you know that you can experiment and see which values works for you fine so in my case uh, this was good enough for me now if you open the serial monitor there collision happened and uh, it freezes over there only okay great now once the collision uh, happens right we need to show like the game is over now okay so first of all uh, for displaying this message game over right uh, i'm setting the size to i'm setting the color and the cursor location from where it should you know start writing this text similarly uh, i've also added a text for adding the score right so right now there's no score so yeah now there there'll be score as well and also uh, if you press one then you can play again this functionality we'll add in a while okay we also need to add the score so for that uh, create a variable score in the setup we also uh, require uh, one intro message you know that will be shown so one thing that we forgot is to giving it as input so over here if you give score as input right now if you send it with this our game should be complete now at least the basic version so now if i collide the score should be one yeah there you go now the score is one hey everyone thank you so much for watching the video hope you like it make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel also check out my other videos on the channel and let me know in the comments down below what other videos i should make